If you like your egg salad a little bit sweet, this is the best, absolute best, so good. This Instant Pot egg salad is my absolute favorite. You start by putting a trivet in the Instant Pot, adding one cup of water. Now it's time to add your eggs. I'm only using four today, but I have made up to 10 at a time. Make sure that your seal is on tight because otherwise it will keep the lid from going on properly and you won't get a proper seal. Problem is solved and now it's time to click over to pressure cook. Pressure up for four minutes for soft boiled eggs and as soon as the timer is up, allow the pressure to release. Immediately add the eggs to an ice water bath. This way it will stop the cooking so that you don't end up with overcooked hard boiled eggs. I used to think I didn't like hard boiled eggs and I realized it was just because they were overdone. After five minutes, go ahead and peel the eggs. Mine were a little difficult to peel because they were super fresh. This is exactly how I love it. Now it's time to slice the eggs. I used to have an egg slicer. Man, I miss it so much, but I have no idea what happened to it. Time to order again. Once they are done, I add these few simple ingredients. You can do whatever you like, but this is my favorite and it's super simple. I use Trader Joe's bread and butter pickles because they don't have any high fructose corn syrup. I'll get back to that in just a moment, but now we're gonna add some mayonnaise, just a spoonful. That's one thing that I just am not gonna make at home. So I choose either the Primal Kitchen or Chosen. Both have very clean ingredients. Now add a squirt of mustard, some salt and pepper, and two teaspoons of the bread and butter pickle juice. And I like to dice about four pickles to add Another thing that you can try is the Trader Joe's hot and spicy jalapenos. It is just as delicious, adding a little bit of spice. Mix that up until well combined. I like to eat mine on my toasted homemade bread. I have that recipe on my website. Or you can just wrap it in lettuce, which is also just as delicious. Enjoy.